Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Treehouse Brewing. Uh, these guys are from Massachusetts and they make some outstanding world-class beers. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I've been sent, because they're not available here, uh, have been the IPAs and the double IPAs. Uh, they do a very nice New England style IPA. Uh, very tasty, very cloudy. Uh, juice bombs basically guys so uh, this is the brown ale American brown ale and this is not a big beer coming in at 6.4 percent alcohol by volume uh, on the bottom it says 10 20 of 17 and it says run Boris run <laughs> got a very uh, mean looking bear on the front label here american brown ale big 16 ounce can uh, plain silver can with a stick on wrap around the label this was sent to me by greg and let's read what greg has to say about this beer bear from treehouse at brown ale my brother adam bought it at treehouse for me to pass along so thank you adam i do appreciate it sir and to greg uh I have not had this beer before, and like I said, I'm, I'm used to their super hoppy juice bombs from this. This will be the uh, the first brown ale that I think I've had from these guys. So, uh, commercial description on this beer. Let's see if we have, I, we don't have the IBUs, uh, and it's got a great big long commercial description here, guys. Bear with me. Barry is Treehouse Brewer Brendan's recipe and his first scaled commercial beer. It has all the characteristics of the classic English brown ale with a distinct American twist. Bear pours a nearly opaque dark brown with a sticky caramel colored head, aromas of toffee, caramel, chocolate, and earthy hops. Prep the palate for the wonderful flavor to come. We taste toffee, brown bread, caramel, candy, varied nuttiness, and a melange of dark fruit. The earthy hop dance throughout and are balanced beautifully by the brown sugar sweetness. Delicious. Bear is one of the best beer, best food beers we have ever had. It pairs brilliantly with nearly everything, including nothing. A lovely and unique example of a brown ale, brewed in honor of those who leave a lasting and influential impression on our lives. So, please imagine that. Uh, so let's see what Brendan uh, at Treehouse has come up with here on this. That is all. I don't have any IBUs on this beer. So let's get it into the glass. Big 16 ounce can. And while I am pouring this, I will tell you the cuisine is barbecue. Cheese is an earthy Camembert Fontana. Your nutty cheeses, I say I have a Colby Parmesan. It says it goes well with your chocolate dishes and the meat is beef. If I try to pint back or nonic, tumbler mug, stein side dowel, I'm using my favorite tulip glass today and not recommended for extended salary guys. We poured that down the center and it didn't generate hardly any head at all. It's just barely covering the top of the beer. It is a rich burnt brown color. And it looks pretty cloudy, guys. I'm not getting a lot of light through it at all. It looks like an unfiltered. Maybe a little mahogany notes down around this thin part down at the bottom. To the nose we go. Wow, big time coffee. Big coffee notes. Roasted malt, maybe a little caramel and toffee, but the coffee's outstanding. I mean, uh, it doesn't say that it was brewed with any coffee. I 
aromas of toffee, caramel, chocolate, and earthy hops. I'm getting big time coffee. Wow. Surely there's some coffee in there. I wouldn't be getting that much coffee on the nose if it didn't have some kind of coffee in there. I wouldn't think. Well, let's dive in. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Cheers, Adam. Thank you both. Hints of bittersweet chocolate. And like I said, it's almost like a like a brown nutty bread taste. That's quite pleasant. And it's definitely different from your typical brown. I'm getting more coffee on the nose. Getting a little bit on the taste. A lot of stuff going on with that beer. And maybe even some dark fruit in there once it comes up to room temperature. But it has a unique uh, flavor profile with that nuttiness and uh, the brown bread and caramel and toffee. And a little bit of chocolate going on in there too. So let's uh, see if we can get the back end of this can in there. And we're going to go sip on this for a little bit. Make fire up a stogie. Let her taste it. And we'll come back and see where this ends up. It's a different taste than your typical English brown ale is going to be. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Very unique flavors to this beer. Uh, brown nutty bread. A uh, little bit of chocolate in there. Caramel. Coffee, slight hint of coffee, maybe a little bit of tobacco or even some raisins or, or, or dates, something like that. Very unique. I don't think I've ever tasted a brown ale quite like this. And the coffee on the nose is just incredible. It's not so much on the taste, uh, which kind of blows me away that I'm getting that much on the nose, but just slight hints of it on the taste, but through the nose, man, it just it smells just like it's just got coffee, coffee, coffee in it. But when you taste it, the coffee is just so subtle. I get more, I get more roasted malt and nuttiness with a slight hint of some uh, chocolate in the taste. It's unusual to have that big of a aroma of coffee and just get a little bit of it. But I am. Very unique beer, like I said. Final chug. Very nice beer. Guys, to me, I enjoyed this. This was, this was pretty tasty. Not a big beer at 6.4%. Fairly easy drinking. A lot of flavors in this beer. Well, to me, a lot of unusual flavors. Uh, I enjoyed it. A minus for me, guys. I'll give this. A, I'm gonna give this a ninety. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says four point oh seven. That's in, also in their uh, A minus scale. And final check in at Untapped. They have it at three point nine seven. That's right there. Right there. B plus A minus. Right there, because you got to grade these guys on a curve. Uh, so we'll just give it the benefit of the doubt since it's right at the four mark, uh, A minus. So I'm going to say it's unanimous. A minus beer, a very tasty, uh, brown ale, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, like I said, it doesn't say anything about having any coffee, uh, brewed in it, but I am definitely getting that, uh, that aroma. So if y'all had this one from Treehouse, this is their bear which is uh, considered an American brown ale according to Untapped. And they're calling it American brown ale. So, uh, with a description saying something about an English brown ale, it's still, the, the, English, the English brown ale is more traditional to me. Uh, the American brown ale, these guys can do whatever they want to. 
<laughs> uh, the sky's the limit on American stuff because he's the Americans they just do whatever they want to and if they want to hop the hell out of it or, or whatever uh, it's, it's a more of an untraditional style uh, brown ale so if you've had it guys let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge